The Tesla Cybertruck may have a secret killer feature against the Ford F-150 pickup truck thanks to its million mile battery. Tesla battery day may be pushed back to later this year, we learned this morning and reported here, but excitement for the secrets that will be unveiled during the event is just as palpable. And today I'm going to talk about that one special secret that may change the entire automotive and trucking industry in the future, pickup trucking in the future. Um, talk of Terra factories and battery capacity constraints are abound, but how will battery day change the perception of Tesla Cybertruck. Before I get started, this is Armin Haryan from TalkNews.com. Friends, welcome back to our channel again, our subscriber and our viewers. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel and let's get started. The limiting factor YouTuber found some interesting tidbits about Tesla's battery during his in-depth research on that topic. I will have the description of that findings of that discussion in the description. I, actually, I will place the link of that YouTube on, in the description of this video for you see, to see. Now, while watching one of Jeff Dunn's videos, he, the limiting factor, heard that Tesla could unlock, look at this carefully, vehicle to grid applications with the revolutionary new battery. This is an important term that we need to keep in mind, vehicle to grid applications in Cybertruck. Vehicle to grid applications could turn Tesla vehicles into mobile power packs or battery storage systems. This is going to be a huge change of how we all view electric vehicles or Tesla trucks as a commuter or more than commuter, like a power pack. The paper Jeff Dunn supervised mentioned vehicle to grid applications as well. Quote from that paper, sales in vehicles tethered to the grid will be raking up charge discharge cycles even when the vehicle is not moving. Clearly, EVs destined for vehicle to grid purposes, robo taxis or long haul tracking would favor a lithium ion chemistry that could deliver many more charge discharge cycles in a decade than an electric vehicle that was destined for a typical simple commuter driving where high energy density to give the longest driving range for weekend trips might be emphasized. Broad down and Harlow et al. in Harlow and Harlow et al. in their paper. And I will have the link of that paper in the description of this video for you to see in the bottom of the description in the reference section, friends. Now, the limiting factor YouTuber mused that vehicle to grid applications could work best with a utilitarian type vehicle with a huge battery pack that could power your house for a week. Now, enter the Tesla Cybertruck in all of this. The all-electric pickup truck has all the features for vehicle-to-grid applications, and its demographic could find such a feature quite useful. For instance, there is a demand for backup power generators amongst pickup truck owners. They go and buy these backup power, uh, power generators. However, trucks like the Ford F-150 don't commonly come with built-in generators. It could cost consumers thousands more to have gas generators installed in their pickup trucks. If the Cybertruck, Tesla Cybertruck, were to have vehicle-to-grid capabilities, it could be the one feature that sways consumers still on the fence about Tesla's pickup. The applications of vehicle-to-grid features could be a game-changer. With vehicle-to-grid capabilities, the Cybertruck could store energy for daily tasks or even power a house if needed, thanks to the million-mile battery. The augment, the actually the argument supporting vehicle-to-grid application becomes even more potent when Maxwell's day battery electrode technology is factored into the equation. Jeff Dunn's million mile battery uses a wet slurry and toxic solvent which contribute to the compound and degradation of batteries. Maxwell's dry battery electrode tech eliminates at least the wet slurry component, so theoretically degradation within the battery should significantly decrease inversely, increasing the lifespan of Tesla's batteries. Now imagine friends now that we have this 
new possibility with Tesla Cybertruck, the vehicle to grid capability. And also, and we talked about earlier this morning and yesterday that the uh, with new battery technology, uh, Tesla will not only reach parity with gas cars in terms of cost of making uh, electric cars, but also will go beyond because Tesla uh, yesterday has reported at, um, at Reuters, Tesla will reach a battery, was possibly will announce it in the battery day with $80 per kilowatt hour cost, which is less uh, than the battery of um, gas cars. Uh, the parity is $100 per kilowatt hour. Now, why am I saying this? Imagine if Cybertruck becomes a power pack for your house. It is uh, less expensive to build because it doesn't have basically colors. And remember when I had the report about Cybertruck colors, it's basically stainless steel. And also it uh, comes with less price with this uh, also with this um, uh, electricity to grid um, capability vehicle to grid feature this will make Cybertruck a very uh, um, popular car pickup truck among uh, the um, construction workers among people who usually buy, buy trucks in that industry and uh, I think this will be one of the most popular trucks and by but I assume Later, when the other car companies come up with their own battery technologies, advanced battery technologies, they will probably have their own uh, opportunities and interesting things for their trucks to make features that will compete with Tesla Cybertruck. Let us know what you think about, uh, about this development and about this vehicle to grid capability of the Cybertruck pickup truck. Let's discuss them in the comments section below. How do you think people can use them? In the meantime, this is Armin Harayan uh, reporting from torquenews.com and uh, I thank you largely to Tesmanian who had uh, contributed to this report and please uh, support our channel if you can send us an applause i would greatly appreciate the button is found next to the like button if you are watching this from a desktop and also please like this video to show your appreciation of tasmanian who had contributed largely to this report thank you everyone have a blessed rest of the day god bless you and see you soon take good care of each other and stay safe during these uncertain times